Hi, so far we learned on the system demo, uh, like uh, how I configured and also now we are coming into the next step, uh, what are the configuration steps. So now um, I would like to give a quick overview. The sequence of steps uh, always important when you are doing configuration. As a consultant, uh, you have to be very familiar with what needs to be done first and what needs to be done the next. But either way is, is fine as long as based on your experience. But uh, my recommendation is always, uh, it's always good to go by sequence of steps. This is always helps to, to, to uh, deliver better results uh, instead of avoiding any conflicts into the system configuration and our system design. So now um, this is a backend configuration. So we call this is a SPR role. So usually the users is going into here and the, this is called easy access and here SPR role. So this is an introduction. Maybe if you guys are familiar with using the system, then uh, yeah, it should be fine. So now you need to go to the financial accounting and under this asset accounting and here you can see the valuation sorry um, depreciation so under depreciation you can see the valuation methods under the valuation methods you need to expand the depreciation key under this you can see calculation methods so these steps are really important so uh, please note you should always use the like you can see the step number one is called the base method and then this is actually you can follow or you don't need to so you can ignore this and also there is a step number three which is a define multi-level method and in the multi-level method you will tell the system that uh, what value should be taken uh, for calculating or uh, using the uh, depreciation okay so in the case of base method what is the basis for doing it so whether it is a straight line or a declining balance or you know uh, uh, whether it is a, a sum of digits or whether it's a production units so you are defining here on, on the in the system so the last but not least here so you can go into the um, period controls what is period controls let's say when you acquire an asset for the start of the year so uh, whether the depreciation should be calculated from the following month or a current month so this is where and um, you can do these uh, these are the basic steps before you are going into the final step which is where the depreciation the number five which is called a maintain the depreciation key i always recommend to follow these steps while configuring and it depends on the requirement or business requirement you may need to configure maximum amounts or, or, or other other areas but for this production units method these are the sequence of the steps. Thank you guys.